Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Royal Gamer, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to screen record on your Xbox One up to one hour without a capture card or streaming service of any kind. Most of the type of videos I searched on YouTube show how do you, you can use Mixer or Beam in order to stream your gameplay to a certain device like a phone or a tablet and then record it on that device, screen record it on that device. But the problem with this is streaming causes many different problems. Sometimes depending on your internet connection and how many people are using it, you can have frame rate losses uh, all the way down to 12 frames per second which is not looking good. Also, you can have quality loss, which can go down to 720p or even 360p, depending on your internet connection again. And this can vary a lot, and you just want direct, smooth gameplay. So I'm going to show you how to do it right here. So first, what you're going to want to do is press the home button on your Xbox controller, just like that. And it's going to take you to this screen. And you want to go all the way to the right to broadcast and capture. Where's that? Okay. And now go down to advanced settings, camera, clip resolution, more, where it says that. And once you see this, you just need to type in your password if you have it set like that. Let me just do that. Okay. And now you see this. It says game. So you want to go to game clip resolution and set that to 1080p standard dynamic range if you have an Xbox One or Xbox One S. But if you have um, an Xbox One X, for example, that can record up to 4K, so make sure to put 4K if you have an Xbox One X. But now you see it says 2 minutes max. And you're thinking, what, what am I going to do in 2 minutes? It, I need at least 30 minutes of gameplay recording. So now, you just want to go down to capture location, and on the right, it says here, set your capture location to external storage when you want to edit game clips and screenshots on your PC instead of sharing them to an Xbox Live. Storage must be USB 3.0 or faster and formatted as new transfer file system. Format for Xbox One games won't work. So basically what it's saying is you need a USB drive which needs to be USB 3.0 or above and needs to be formatted in the new transfer file system or NTFS for short. So these USBs they can come in different you can have as low as 8 gigs or you can go up to 256 gig SSD if you if, if you would like but all you need is this simple USB drive I have a 32 gig SanDisk Ultra USB 3.0 link to, uh, to that in the description also links to cheaper ones that you can get about 8 gigs or 16 gigs for those who are just looking for a new one but most probably you will have a USB 3.0 USB at your home somewhere because that is the standard right now so you just need to get that in order to do this. Now I'm going to show you how to format it and how to get it all set up so you can screen record on your Xbox up to one hour. And let's get to that. Okay, so now all you want to do is take your USB flash drive. I have mine right here. And I'm just going to insert it into my computer. Sorry about that. Okay, so now as you can see, it has a bunch of folders here. So all you want to do is go to this name right here, right click on it, click format, that was right there, just click format, and it says file system, NTFS, so if yours was something else, just click on this, and change it to NTFS, whatever it was, just change it to NTFS, new trial transfer, file transfer system, so, and then click start, so what that's going to do, it's going to delete everything in your USB drive, and it's just going to reformat it to NTFS. So what you want to do is you just want to copy all of this to the desktop or something like that so you have it safe if you need stuff. So mine is already formatted so I'm just gonna what you want to do next is just plug this into your Xbox and I'll show you from there. So let's get to that part. Okay I'm back so now I've just inserted my drive as you can see it just picked it up. So you, now you want to follow the steps back what I said press the home button go all the way to broadcast and capture advanced settings once you're in there just enter your passcode and then you see over here change your capture location to external do note you do need USB 3.0 or above to do this as it says on the right there if you have USB 2.0 this won't work but 3.0 is pretty much the standard these days now you can record 1080p SDR up to one hour, although it doesn't say it here, once I launch the game, it should say that. So I'm just going to launch Paladins here and 
wait for the game to fully load. So, see you when it fully loads. And I'm back. Hello, everybody. It's not fully loaded yet, so... Um, just... The, okay, I'm just gonna try it now. So, click on Capture Options. And then it says, Record from now up to one hour. The reason I can't do this, it says you can't capture while you're streaming, because I'm streaming to my laptop in order to make this video. So, if you're on your Xbox, not streaming, you can actually record up to one hour using a USB thumb drive. And that's how you record up to one hour on an Xbox One without a capture card or streaming service of any kind. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, shout out to The Perkilo Show for recommending this video to me, this video idea. And go subscribe to him, links in description. And see you later.